Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Jun from Gen Tea, a Gen Tea we specialize in fine tasting great Chinese tea. If you search Gong Fu Tea, Wikipedia will probably be your first hit, and you will be directed to the Gong Fu Tea ceremony page. And according to Wikipedia, the Gong Fu Tea Ceremony or Kung Fu Tea Ceremony is a type of Chinese tea ceremony involving the ritual preparation and presentation of tea. Mm. Mm. Well, let's talk about Gong Fu Tea today. If you are a tea lover, please be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell for more videos about tea and tea culture. So talking about Gong Fu Tea, does Gong Fu Tea equal Gong Fu Tea ceremony? Uh, not really. Actually, the term Gong Fu Tea, when it was first appeared in the Qing Dynasty, it refers to tea that was produced in Wu Yi Mountains. In the recent couple hundreds of years, when we talk about the Gong Fu Tea as tea, uh, it mostly refers to black tea. Actually, many black tea names ends with the word Gong Fu. For example, Qimen Gong Fu, or uh, Taiyang Gong Fu, Dianhong Gong Fu. When talking about Gong Fu tea as a way of brewing, the fundamental difference between Gong Fu tea and uh, the Western style uh, brewing is that Gong Fu tea uses much smaller brewing vessels and have bigger leaf to water ratio and do multiple infusions. Involved from Xiao Bei Cha from the Fujian area, uh, Gong Fu tea from Chaoshan is considered the origin of the Gong Fu tea that you and me are familiar with today. The traditional Chaoshan Gong Fu Cha is quite different than what we are calling Gong Fu Cha nowadays. In old times, they use uh, Meng Chen Guan, uh, Ruo Chen Bei, and when they brew, they only brew uh, Wulong tea. Nowadays, Gai Wan is a very common uh, Gong Fu brewing vessel, and uh, black tea, uh, puar, dark tea, green tea, basically you can use the Gong Fu tea brewing rules to brew, to brew like various types of tea. Sometimes, Gong Fu tea is introduced as the Chinese way of drinking tea, or this is how Chinese people drink tea traditionally. This is simply not true. In the 90s, Mr. Chen Xiangbai developed the Gong Fu tea ceremony, a performance ceremony based on Chaoshan Gong Fu Cha. Him and many other tea lovers and the government promoted this performance art of tea for decades till now. You and me are very familiar with this concept of Gong Fu tea. But before that, Gong Fu tea is a very local, regional phenomena and cultural that most Chinese people don't even know. Gong Fu tea and Kung Fu tea, are they the same? Well, uh, in Chaoshan, the home of Gong Fu tea, it's simple and clear. It's Gong Fu Cha. Because in their native uh, dialect, Gong Fu and Kung Fu, they pronounce totally different, and it's Gong Fu Cha. However, in Mandarin and many other dialects, uh, both words are pronounced identical as Gong Fu. Though the two words have totally different meanings, you will notice that they are used interchangeably to describe uh, Gong Fu tea. Gong Fu, which means something that requires time and skills and energy, while Kung Fu usually means martial arts. Obviously, when you brew Gong Fu tea, you don't need to know martial arts. If there is one way of enjoying tea that requires a little bit of that, it will be the Sichuan uh, Chang Zui Hu rather than Chaoshan Gong Fu Cha. So the million dollar question is actually how to do Gong Fu tea at home? 
We will be reviewing this in our future videos. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. That will really help out our channel. And at the meantime, don't forget to check out our how-to videos as we demonstrate step-by-step -step how to brew a specific tea. Until next time, keep steeping.